Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 class setups to use in Vanguard. I've been playing for hours and I've just been leveling up loads of different weapons, testing them all out and these are some of the best classes and weapons that I have used so far. You might be wondering how I leveled them up so fast, I will have a video out soon telling you guys all of the best methods to level up your weapons, so subscribe with notifications on if you guys want to watch that video. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first weapon is going to be the STG. This is an assault rifle and it's definitely one of the best assault rifles and it's one of the first ones you unlock. Now this video is going to be a little bit longer than my typical video. Usually I don't make these loadout videos this long, but there's 10 attachments on each weapon. So it's going to be a little bit longer, but there will be timestamps if you guys want to skip forward. As you saw, we had the Quicksilver Silencer. This increases the recoil control and also makes your weapon silent, which is nice. And then we have the Under Barrel for increased recoil control. We then have the last barrel, so you are going to have to level this up quite a lot to unlock this barrel. That is usually how it is. The best attachments are the last ones you unlock, but that increases your range and recoil control. Then we have the extra bullets, and then we have the subsonic rounds, which is going to take you off the minimap whenever you shoot. So on this COD, it isn't your suppressor that takes you off the minimap, it's actually the type of ammo you have, and the subsonic is definitely the best. We have the fabric rear grip to increase the mobility and then we have a sight of your choice. I like to use the slate reflector or the Mark III uh, reflector. They're both really, really good sights, but it's up to you what sight you use because obviously everyone has a personal preference, but those two, in my opinion, are some of the cleanest sights you can use. Next up, I like to use the removed stock because this is going to increase your mobility by quite a lot. And I like to rush. I am a pretty rushy player. So having a removed stock is going to really, really help because it's going to increase the ADS time, which is going to allow you to obviously ADS faster. It's going to increase a lot of the mobility statistics. And all in all, it is a great attachment. We then have a sleight of hand so I can reload faster because the reload on this weapon is pretty slow so sleight of hand is nice and then on pretty much all my weapons I have surplus as the kit which basically just gives me more XP per kill. The next weapon we're going to be talking about is the MP40. This is probably one of the best SMGs in the game. It used to be in a lot of the older Call of Duties and in most Call of Duties, it's a very, very good one. So we have the Quicksilver Silencer once again. Then we have an underbarrel for the increased recoil control. We have this barrel here, which increases the mobility. And then we have the 60 round drums. And then, of course, we have the subsonic ammo type to take you off the minimap. A sight of your choice. There are quite a lot, like I said before. It's honestly up to you what sight you use. And then I like to use the stippled grip tape. It's pretty much unlocked right at the beginning but it's a very good attachment because it doesn't have any cons it increases your recoil control and it's a very very good attachment because it doesn't have any cons you unlock it straight at the beginning so it's definitely worth a go using removed stock once again this is an smg so i like the mobility to be nice and high it will make your recoil a little bit more but honestly it doesn't matter because it is an smg you're going to be pretty close up anyway for the proficiency attachment, I like to have steady on. This is just going to make you have a little bit more mobility, which is very, very nice. Next up, we have the Thompson or whatever you guys want to call this weapon. It, on this one, it's called the M1928 or something like that. But yeah, it's a very, very good SMG. And once again, surprise, surprise, we have the quick silver silencer on this. And then we have this underbarrel here, which increases the recoil control. We have the last barrel. Yes, I know it's the last barrel, so it's going to take you a while to unlock, which is the only bad thing about it. But once you do unlock it, it is a very, very good attachment. The next attachment you guys are going to want to use on this is the ammo type. Once again, subsonic to take you off the minimap. And then I like to use the 100 round drums. Yes, it's quite OP. 100 bullets in one magazine. And it doesn't really decrease your mobility that much using it either, which is quite surprising. Rubber grip, we have this stock to make it nice and fast, and then we have a sight of your choice once again. We have a sleight of hand because we are using a 100 round drum, so it does have a little bit of a slower reload. So you want to make it a little bit faster because obviously it might be a bit slow. So stick on the sleight of hand perk to make it a little bit faster. And then the surplus kit for the additional XP, I like to use that on pretty much most of my weapons. 
Next up, we have the Volk. The first couple of attachments are the same. We have the Quicksilver Silencer. We have the same underbarrel, which basically just increases the accuracy, etc. Then we have this middle barrel here, which is going to increase the uh, ADS time and also the aim walking movement speed. So it's basically just going to increase that mobility on this weapon and it's going to make it nice and fast. Next up, we also have the 60 round drums, which is quite a lot of bullets on this one. And then we have the subsonic uh, ammo type as well to obviously keep you off the minimap. It's definitely a good attachment on pretty much every single weapon. You're going to want to use this. It takes you off the minimap and it's going to make you die a lot less often. Make sure to go ahead and use any site of your choice or you can just use the iron sights and then this stock right here is very very important because it basically makes it super super accurate. It increases everything to do with your accuracy and it's a very very good stock. It basically changes this weapon completely. And then similar to the other ones we have sleight of hand, stippled grip tape and also the surplus kit. Next up, we're going to be focusing on a sniper. This is one of the first snipers you unlock, so you should have it unlocked already. I'm not going to give you guys a class for the other snipers because all of the attachments for each sniper are pretty much the exact same. And this is one of the first snipers you unlock. So even if you want to use a different sniper, all of the attachments on each sniper are pretty much the exact same. So I can show you this class and this class will fit for all of the other snipers as well. Whenever you build a sniper, you wanna make two things fast. You wanna make the ADS as fast as possible and you want to also make the sprint to fire time as fast as possible as well. The snipers in Vanguard are some of the slowest snipers we have ever seen. So you really, really wanna focus on all of the fastest possible attachments you can possibly use. For the rear grip, go ahead and put on the fabric grip. This is gonna increase the mobility by quite a lot. And then for the sight, for quick scoping personally, I prefer to use the standard sight. I don't really like any of the other sights. I use the standard sight, but it is up to you if you do prefer any of the others. And for the stock, there isn't really any point in using a stock because they all have pretty big cons and they're going to decrease the stats quite a lot. And then we have shrouded, which actually takes away the glint which is incredibly OP because usually people are going to see where you're sniping from but with this attachment it takes it completely away. Next up we have the bar which is personally one of my favourite assault rifles. The first couple of attachments once again are pretty similar to the other attachments so I'm just going to scan through them. I'm not going to talk about them too much because otherwise this video would be way too long. But we've got the quicksilver barrel, I mean muzzle and then we've got the under barrel for the increased mobility and then we have the third barrel here which is going to increase the bullet velocity. And it also increases the ADS time as well, which is really, really nice, especially on this weapon, because this weapon is a little bit slower than your other assault rifles, but it's a very, very powerful assault rifle and can kill in just a couple of bullets. So this barrel is definitely one of the best. Now for the magazines, I personally don't recommend using any magazine. This weapon only has 20 bullets, which is very, very low, but... It doesn't really need that many bullets because it's got a very, very high damage. It's one of the highest damage assault rifles in the game. So you don't really need many bullets because it kills in just a couple of bullets. I'm quickly scanning through all of the other attachments that I would use here as well. I'm not going to talk about them too much because I already have talked about them on the other weapons. Next up, we have an LMG and I actually dropped a nuclear, my first nuclear with this LMG. This is the MG42 and once again, I'm just going to scan through a lot of these attachments. I'll try and explain a couple of them, but for the most part, basically the aim of this class is to make it quick and accurate. Obviously, LMGs are pretty damn slow, so all of these attachments that I have equipped did are going to increase the range, the accuracy and the mobility. You want to make sure to make it nice and fast, but you also want to make sure it's nice and accurate and you also want to make sure it has some pretty good range. So all of the attachments that I have selected on this make for the perfect LMG class. It's fast, it's accurate, it's got a good reload time even though it still has quite a lot of bullets and all in all, it's definitely one of the best LMG classes that you guys are going to want to use. Once again, surplus as the kit for the increased 
XP. You can try some other kit if you guys want to, but I just like more XP because XP is always, always nice. Next up, we have an assault rifle. This is the NZ41. Once again, the attachments are pretty similar to the other attachments we have seen on the other weapons, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but if you guys want to slow the video down or pause it, you can read some of the benefits. Uh, but for the most part, once again, this is an assault rifle, so what I've made uh, what I've made sure this class does is obviously I want to make it accurate, I want to make it fast, and this is probably one of my favorite assault rifles at the moment. It's very, very underrated as well. Next up in the video, we are going to have the Sten. This is an SMG, a very underrated SMG in my opinion. We have the silencer, we have the under barrel, which is going to increase the recoil control, and then we have the final barrel, which once again increases that recoil control. And this one actually increases the headshot damage, so it's actually a pretty good attachment because you're going to be able to kill people pretty fast. As soon as you hit a headshot in a gunfight, you're pretty much going to win that gunfight because it does do a lot of damage to the heads. Next up, we have the 50 round drum, which is a very, very good attachment. An absolute ton of bullets, subsonic ammo type to stay off the minimap. Once again, a sight of your choice. And then you want to use the stippled grip tape, which you unlock pretty much at the beginning. Finally, you want to have a stock on. This is going to increase the mobility. And then the final two attachments are the same as the other ones, sleight of hand and surplus. This is the final class. It's a little bit glitched for some reason, but this is the Itra Burst or the Itra Burst. I'm not sure how to say it, but this weapon can actually kill in one or two bursts. If you hit the head, it kills in one burst. And if you hit the body, it kills in two bursts. So this is a very, very powerful weapon. And these are the attachments you guys are going to want to use for this. Once again, I don't want to explain them too much because it does make the video really, really long. But I'll quickly scan through them. The aim of this class was to make it accurate. And it is a little bit of a slower class because it is a burst weapon. So you want to play this class a little bit more passive. But yeah. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.